guys, today I thought I'd share with you some of the recent makeup that I've picked up. Most of it is drugstore and specifically a lot of it's Milani because Milani just released a whole bunch of new makeup and I found it at my friend Meyer and I was like, ooh, because Milani's always been one of my favorite brands. I love their eyeliners, their blushes, their lipsticks are amazing. And I saw some things that I've been looking that seem like high-end dupes. Um, so I was really excited about that. So I guess I'll start with the Milani since that's probably what you want to see now. And I apologize for my hair. I've been wearing a hat all day because it's like really cold here. And the first thing that I saw is they have two new of colors of their baked blushes. And I believe both of them are matte. And I got the color... Deli so so pink. Um, yeah, it's a bright pink, like a bubblegum bright pink, and it is really pretty. The other one was like a almost like a red with a hint of pink in it, which would have been like instant clown face on me. So I, I did not go for that one, but this one's really pretty. And I don't feel like it's too pigmented where you're going to, like, get that clown face. It's very sort of, um, like, sheer and buildable, buildable. Excuse me. The next thing that I picked up from Milani is this Power Lip Lasting and Moisturizing Gloss Stain. And I got it in 05 Macaroon. And... It's like this, and you click it, and the product comes out, and I'll put them on. I'm just not sure about this. I can get some product to come out. There, you can see the product coming out. It's a little goopy. And I didn't really think that it stained all that much, if at all. But here's the color. It's just like a really nice pink. And there's the little swatch on my hand. So, I'm not sure. This was only $5.99, but you can't get very much product in here. So, I'm just, I might return that. Cause the other thing that they had that was new were new lip glosses. And they, they are packaged almost like the Flower Beauty ones, except the cap's gold. But the shape and the design basically looks identical. And I, I just didn't see any shades that didn't look like I had already but they did have a good shade shade range it's just that I have way too many lip glosses for one person so I didn't pick any of those up but I really want to try one so I might give this one more chance in the return <laughs> the last thing that I picked up from Milani and I believe this is new but I'm not a hundred percent sure is the brow and eye highlight and I've seen Anastasia has one of these and I think Sigma has one of these and it has a matte cream side and then a shimmery side and they're so creamy and they had like three different colors in this but this one looked the best for me and that's the matte and then don't know if you could see the cream it's yeah kind of shimmery and I really like this. And this is only $5.99 as well. So it's a really good deal. I'm trying to think about what other colors there were. I know there was one that I think had like a brown on the end. So I'm not sure if that was like a brow thing with like a brow color on one side and a highlight on the other. But I know there was another color of like the shimmer and the matte. 
And I don't think it was pink, because I think I would have gotten the pink. Maybe it was more yellow. I have no idea. I forget. But I really like this, and I think it's a really good deal for $5.99. Can't beat that, because I'm sure Anastasia's is like $30 or something. The next thing that I got is... I've actually had this for a while, and it is the NYX High Definition Photogenic Concealer. And I wanted a really light concealer to highlight with, and I love this. It wears really well under the eyes, but you can also use it on the face, on blemishes. Really like this. I want to get a darker color to use on, like, spots and stuff. Excuse me. But... I really like this, and if you're looking for a good concealer, this is a great one. It does kind of smell funky, though. kind of smells like chalk, or it smells weird, but it's really good, so I don't really care. Another under-eye product that I picked up is the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Eye, Cur or Eye Concealer, and it's a roller ball with some color in it, and I got the lightest color, which is fair. I really like this. For days where I don't feel like doing, you know, the whole highlighting, blending, blah, blah, blah. Just roll it on and blend it in and good to go. And I think the color's really good on this one, too. The last eye product, well, actually the next thing says eye product, too. But this is for your eyes. Um, This is the Rimmel, Rimmel Scandalize Cream Shadow in chestnut taupe and I've been looking for this color everywhere but they're always sold out I want to get the purple now too but I wanted this color first I don't know why because I've seen the purple around everywhere but I really like this it's really pigmented and it wore really well and I think this is a great shade even for like just putting all over and blending it and you're good to go with some mascara you can close the cap but um, there it is right there it's just a nice metallic taupe I really like this color and these are pretty cheap too so I might pick up some more oh I lied I do have another eye product and it's another taupe cream shadow but this one is the NYX infinite shadow stick in almond um, I keep looking for the butter lipsticks, but all I found was like these. But I've heard good things and I wanted the taupe color. And so I picked it up. It's very similar to the other one. It's on the bottom. You see like how similar they are. This one has a little more like gold to it. But they're both really nice. Um these are pretty expensive. These are like $8.99, which the regular NYX shadow sticks are like $5.99. So I think I would take the Rimmel over this because I don't understand why these are more, so much more expensive than the normal one. Last but certainly not least is oh, the Lorac Pro Palette. It went on Nordstrom.com. And I've never bought something so fast in my life. I was like, okay, let's buy, let's buy this baby. Because everywhere else is sold out. So I found this. And I've been, I, they have Lorac on there. And I've been waiting for them to put it. And they finally did. And it's beautiful. I love this black for my brows. Because it's not like black black. Um, I haven't played around with it a lot. I'm wearing a lot of matte shadows today. Did a not really impressed with the look I did but that's that's my fault because my skills aren't as great as I would like them but I love this um light bronze color is really pretty it's a good lip color and um yeah I really love this because I've been loving mattes in the crease so I need to play around with it some more but I just like favorited a bunch of tutorials on YouTube using this so I'm excited to do some looks with it and play around with it a little more and the last thing I picked up and I haven't even taken it out of its packaging yet is the um, 
Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar in Digitalis. And it's just like a nice purpley pink. And this is matte. But when I did the tester, it was like super glossy. So I don't know. It just looked like fun. I wanted to spend money and this is what I decided to spend money on. I was looking at the um, new Urban Decay Naked lip glosses, which are, ooh, there's one called Love Child that is like oh, the perfect creamy pink. But this you get just like, I think that was point thirteen fluid ounces, and this is this is um, 0 .33 fluid ounces. So you get a lot more stuff in here, and you need the tiniest amount for this. So I decided to try this out, and it was cheaper. And if I don't like it, I'll probably get the lip gloss instead. So that is everything I picked up. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you later. Bye.